as excited as we are, though, so this is, this is great, right? He has graciously decided to step aside and give his opportunity to four hand-selected superstars to compete in the first ever Spotlight Scramble for the most impressive competitor.
seconds. I'm so sorry but that I'm late to commentary. I'm going triple duty at this point. But we've got a Fatal 4 Way contest to determine the number one contender for the Midwest All-Pro Training Center title that Webster Prince so lovingly holds. One fall to a finish lover man, Nikki Valentine, thrown out of the ring with that double arm suplex. A double underhook suplex, my apologies. My name is Charlie Eckers. Make sure to follow Flagship Pro Wrestling on all of our social media. We've got three men in the ring. The big man, Mac, Austin Schmidt, and Tommy Douglas, all in the middle of the ring. Whoever wins this is the number one contender. And oh, it looks like we're gonna get double team action. Mac and Austin Schmidt on Tommy Douglas. The bodacious one in trouble now. These are two big men. All right, and a, ooh, big knife edge chop from Austin Schmidt. Very impressive. And it, Webster Prince is just counting abs over here. It's it's insane. But oh, and a knife edge chop from the big man Mac onto the chest of Tommy Douglas. Tommy Douglas tries to throw a right hand. And going nowhere, but Big Mac with a big knee lift. All right, Mac throwing Tommy Douglas into the corner. Knee lift again into that turnbuckle. And normally my commentary partner, Spotlight Mike, is here, but he's also got other business arrangements to attend to right now with... I, I, presumably, I guess he said that whoever whoever impresses him the most in this matchup will get a... Will get a a chance at the Midwest All-Pro title. And Tommy Douglas is in trouble, but Austin Schmidt, Mac. Oh, right hand, right to the jaw. Oh! Shades of Meng. Here he comes. And now Austin Schmidt using all of that 305 pounds across the throat and the and the rope of Tommy Douglas. Here comes Mac now, hits the grip. And oh! Up and down. Bouncing on the back of the head of Tommy Douglas like a medicine ball. And Tommy Douglas back to his feet, but I, I, I'm wondering what's going to happen here when Austin Schmidt and Mac realize only one man can win this matchup, and Austin Schmidt gets fed some of the turnbuckle, and Mac throws him again, and Tommy Douglas avoids Disaster one more time. A right hand, Tommy Douglas with a chop. Right hand, a chop to Mac. A right hand, Austin Schmidt. Tommy Douglas is looking impressive. Hits the rope. Boom, boot to the chest. Mac takes down Tommy Douglas. And Mac now. It looks like Austin Schmidt and Mac are going to go for a double choke slam. Up. Oh! The back of his head bouncing across the... And it looks like Austin Schmidt is going to try and get the victory, but no, Mac kicks him out of it. Austin Schmidt gets booted to the gut. Cover one. No, Austin Schmidt breaks it up. And the two biggest competitors in this matchup finally realizing only one man can win this matchup. Oh! I can't believe on oh, the right hand from Mac. I don't want to see that with that reach. Oh! They see Big Ben Hoss fighting in the middle of the ring. And Mac getting thrown to the outside by Austin Schmidt. And man, this is impressive. These two big men. I want to see this fight all day and night. And into the steel ring post. Mac throwing Austin Schmidt head first. And the two big men fighting it out. Oh, and we've got Nikki Valentine to the sleeper hole on the Tommy Douglas. And I think Tommy Douglas was taken by surprise. Nikki Valentine, the lover man, if you will, in the middle of the room with that sleeper hold. I don't know what's going to happen here, but Tommy Douglas is trying to find his way out of it after taking 
taking all the punishment from Mac and Austin Schmidt. And it looks like Tommy Douglas, right hand. Mike, shut up!